What's going on, Flake? How are you, mate? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, you looked a bit ginger out there. Is there something going on? Or? Uh, yeah, I just had a little cork at training from uh, one of the boys landed on it, but it's all good. Just uh, a bit of rehab running and I'll be back into it next tomorrow. Yeah. How's your summer been? Did you unfortunately fall ill? Yeah, I, um, I ended up catching the virus, which is unfortunate, so I uh, sat out for a bit there, but it's good to be back. Yeah. How did it affect you? Were you alright? Yeah, I was pretty good. We're all the whole team's double back, so the symptoms have all been pretty mild, so yeah. How intense will it be to get a spot in the middles this year, given that like Paino kills it, Paddy's back from injury, Ryan James is now back also? How intense will that competition be just to get starting spot? Yeah, it'll be intense. Um, it's all healthy competition, so um, I think at the end of the day, whoever gets the starting positions will have earned it, and um, I'm sure the rest of the boys will be training um, just as hard to either get a spot in the top 13 or top 17, so yeah. Well, looking at Paino, is he, is he even bigger? Is he stronger? Is that possible? No, nah, I don't think it's possible. He's been that size since he was 15. Can <laughs> <laughs> you tell us about last year for yourself? Obviously, playing Origin is a pretty big moment. Yeah, um, I had a pretty average start to the year, and then I got lucky with the Origin and uh, had a good back end of the year. Unfortunately, I, I missed a few games due to suspension, which um, I need to work, work on, try to fix that up a bit. <laughs> Try to stay on the field a bit more, but um, yeah, it'll be good. I'll unfortunately once again miss the first three rounds of next year, but yeah, should be ready to go come round four. So, obviously, it's obviously something that you recognise needs to change. There's no point in you sitting on the sidelines when you're fit, is there? Yeah, you, you can't really play too well sitting on the sidelines, so um, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> See that there? The biggest bromance in Broncos history. <laughs> Is it, with, with the suspension thing, is it a technique thing? Like, are you working on changing a technique or something like that? Yeah, I have been. We, um, I've been working with a few of our defence coaches and um, just, yeah, I just need to tackle a bit lower and especially with the new rules, they've been a lot harder. So we just got to adjust to the new rules because um, the way things have been handled is they're not going to change. So I just need to adjust to the rules and, and be better in that area. What was that origin experience like? Yeah, it was really good. Um, it sort of gave me a lot of confidence, and um, coming out of that, I sort of I played a few better games, which which bring my season up a bit, and I needed that leading into next year, into this year. Sorry, so yeah, it really helped me. Have you had any contact with Billy? Is he kept you in the loop about this year? Who? The Origin Slater. Oh no, I haven't spoken to Billy. No. <laughs> Obviously, you want to be back there again, though. Like you've, once you've got a taste of it, that's sort of the level that you want to be at. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd love to play Origin again this year, but. I think to start off, um, the priority is to just um, get back to playing consistent NRL footy and um, yeah, try not to get suspended and just be more consistent and the rest will come with it. Mate, when you said you not at launch train, someone landed on the sensitive part of your body, did it? What happened? What, just to, what happened? <laughs> oh, I just got in, a, I got in a tackle with pain though and he just landed on my groin, so. <laughs> that's all? Yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> um, we're just saying like, just a moment, but you had a fantastic year last year, but what about the, the back up again and just keep it going? Everyone's a year older. Is there something special in this group going forward now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got a few new players in Capes and Renault and blokes like that, and they're a great addition to our squad, but um, I think we've got to realise at the same time that they're not going to win us all the games. We've got to step up to their level as well. So um, I think we've, we've been training well, and um, everyone's a year older, more experienced, so... Going forward, we, we've had our bad years, but um, I think things are looking very positive going forward. What's up? Um, you pretty much got the full team back now, really, so there's sort of no real excuses over the next month going into the trials. Like, yeah, that's right. Where you guys are at and where do you need to be? Um, yeah. Well, like I said, it's only early on in the pre-season, so um, you know, every session, every week, we're looking to get better. But um, yeah, at the moment, things are looking good leading into the trial games. So. Uh, Hopefully we can uh, make a mark early in the season.